Hi everyone, welcome to this week's U77 patrol log. Here we are with the boys checking over the maps and all the data we've got coming in. We've been uh, tracking that convoy which we attacked last week. And um, while we've doing that, we, we went, we surfaced the boat. We got ahead of them, obviously out of their visual and, and their uh, ability to see us. And um, we brought in the external reserve as well as loading up the... Um, Torpedo tubes once again. We've got a um, one of these uh, magnetic ones in the tube three. Uh, what's this one here? This is the ladder search pattern, so we've got one of those as well. Uh, all is good. Fuel level is 55%. Um, and we've just submerged to uh, start our attack on the, uh, the convoy again. Um, we've set up in front of them, as you can see. They're coming here. They're coming between... Um, that's the far line of... Uh, ship course and then they're coming in between us so I've stopped short here so um, they don't run into us so we'll be able to get a couple of shots away um, what I'm thinking is we will obviously shoot the fire these torpedoes maybe then have a rear shot um, and then get ahead of them again r rinse and repeat until we load the other torpedoes up fire our torpedoes uh, away obviously we're right next to our, our zone anyway so that's pretty good uh, and then we might head back to Dakar to get some fuel and some more torpedoes. That's the plan. And then we'll come back and start patrolling around this area. Um, yeah, we do have um, this area here. Um, do I? Yeah, if I look at the captain's log, it should tell us here. Yeah, FD 1155, which is... Where's FD? FD 11... Uh, so 50 would be in the middle, so 55 would be somewhere around here. Um, so we need to go and do that just to get that one signed off, and then we'll probably get a, an encrypted message from the BDU telling us to search another area. But for the moment, we're just going to concentrate on this convoy, which is right here, right now. So on the old periscope, obviously Gamma turned up, so we can see it, and there you can see them tootling towards us. Um, that one's lit up. Probably a Spanish one, because you know how the Spanish like shining the uh, lights onto their flag. Um, but yeah, so are they appearing on the map? Not currently, but they're coming towards us anyway. Actually, we may have drifted a little bit too much. You can see the contact. That might be a little bit closer than I want, so um, we'll see how that goes. We may need to abort this attack and uh, get away and then reset up, but for the moment, we'll, uh, we'll see how it plays out. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, the um, the convoy is kind of uh, split open a little bit. Um, we are kind of a little bit under threat from one of these two ships here. Not this one really, but the one of these two may come a little bit too close to us, which may cause us a bit of problems. But we're going to risk it for a biscuit. Uh, so we're looking at one of these two ships, I think. Yeah, one of these two. They're kind of coming straight for us, and they may, if they don't see or they can't see us at the moment, they may actually cause us some damage by um, clipping us, which would be a uh, a bad thing indeed. But anyway, let's concentrate on what we are planning to do. So we're looking at this target here, which is a nice juicy ship. Um, let's lock onto there. Let's get him to identify it. It's a large merchant ship. Now, there is a tanker, but the tanker is coming towards us. Now, that was one of the ships we were looking at last time, wasn't it? We were quite tempted to have a go at that tanker. Um, but if that's coming towards us, it's going to be a bit close. But we definitely will have a shot at it. It reckons 2,400 metres. Uh, 2,100 metres, I beg your pardon. And the uh, survey says... 2,100. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so we got that all set up. We've got this here. Now, what do we have? I got this wrong last time. So we've got steam in 1, 2, and 4, and the electronic one, or the electric one in 3. Um, 
Ah, one thing to let you know, I did do a speed calculation. They're doing about six and a half knots. So if we put six knots in there, we'll go with six knots. And if I have a look at here, they did 200 meters. And if you look at 200 meters, um, 260 meters is seven knots. Actually, it's closer to seven knots, isn't it? We'll put seven knots in. There we go. And we'll work out the angle of bow. There we go. Right. Uh, angle of bow. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, go. Oh god, I might as well just type the damn things in. They never work properly We're trying to roll them on. Right, so that's that set up. Good. So um let's have a look at Torpedo Tube One, which is a steam. Okay, medium speed. Impact. And we'll go to about there. Flood that one. Oh, listen to that rumble. Uh, torpedo tube tube two. We will set to fast impact, and we'll do that as our as our secondary one, just in case we miss the first one. We'll flood that, and then what we might want to do is have that shot there. Have a snapshot of this little one here. These three are neutral, so we can't really shoot at those. And then we may be able to have a snap rearward shot at one of these, maybe. Might be a thing. So now it's just let's just wait until the. Uh, let's just have a little zoom in. I think we're going to be okay. I think they're going to go past us. So we might be able to, ha yeah, have a shot at this one. And by that time, this one here may be available for a rearward shot. See, there's there's the there's where I did the timekeeping. Bit there. You can see my. I think they're still zil zigzagging because you can see that's off the mark slightly. That course route and they're st they're way off that as well. So, yeah, they're still um, doing a little bit of. Uh, how's your father? And a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Of how's your father? A little bit of um, zigging and zagging to try and uh, not present an easy target. Even though it's been some time since we uh, last sunk the other ships, that was. Um. 5.22 on the 4th. It's now almost... Well, it's coming up to the quarter to 11 in the evening. That's how long it's taken us to uh, get all those torpedoes sorted. The external one loaded back in. Okay, we're coming up to our firing solution very shortly. And we've got this ship. She's going to sail right in front of us. We're not going to have a shot up... Uh, a quick shot of that one because it's going to be—it's going to be too close, I think. Um, it's not really going to. Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned. How what's the distance between us and that, this ship at the moment? Oh, 850 meters. Okay, that's not. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I thought it was um, a lot less than that. Okay, I think we've got one more rotation, and we should be good to go. So tube one. Try and hit him low. Set to six meters. New contact, merchant, moving fast, closing, bearing three, one, five, medium range. Okay, and I'm going to fire. Oh, no, I'm going to, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to hold out till it hit zeros out. There we go. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. Switching to two. Let's get one uh, reloaded. Torpedo tube one is being reloaded now. Those ships are just sailing behind us, so we can't have a quick snap at them at the moment. But um, hopefully this one will go kapow, and we should be laughing. Is 
It's looking good. Good hit. Explosions. We've definitely ruptured something. Right, this one here. How quickly... How far away is that? That is 250 meters. I think that's too close. I think that's too close. What's this one doing? She's still sailing on. She's got her... Um, Lights on now, searching the seas for anything. Now, I'm thinking we're not going to fire another one at her just yet. We're going to give some time, allow her uh, every possibility of uh, sinking. So uh, let's have a look around. So it's those ones, and it's what do we have here? So let's look behind us. Uh, that one. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's nice. That's probably going to be a bit too close, isn't it? That's going to be passing at about. 300 odd feet. Well, maybe though. What's that one? That's a nice one as well. Right, okay, we're gonna. Let's look onto this. And have a look at what this is. It's a large merchant bearing. Okay. Range. We've currently got the range at 600 meters. I know this isn't technically a snapshot because <laughs> um, we're doing this. Whoa, that was close. That was close. He's turned right on us. Forty-four. Forty-one. That's not too bad at all, actually. Now, of course, the problem we have. We've got a steam there, so we'll probably just go medium flood. Um, these will be zigzagging, so we may not get the correct angle. Goodness me, how close is this bloody ship to us? Hella close is the answer. Look, they're all having a cup of tea behind their um, behind the funnels. Probably, oh, it's having a cigarette actually. Probably chucking the cigarettes down the old funnels like they did in old Indiana Jones. That doesn't have a gun on it that I can see, so we could potentially use the old deck gun on that one. However, I'm just thinking some of the other ships, i.e., yeah, she's going down. She's got a gun, a couple of guns on her. She's got guns there as well. Guns there. Guns there. Guns there. But we've got some of these neutral ships. Now, neutral ships, oh, is that Colombian maybe? Um, they should not have guns on them because they're neutral but you never know anyway um, let's just make sure none of those scattered ships are going to head on to a collision course with us so we, look, we look okay right let's concentrate back on this one right so this is the one we're going to try and uh, it's not turning into a great angle is it Oh, the noise has stopped from that ship roaring past us, which is good. Um, I'm tempted to try and pull away directly north, which will obviously swing the rear around to uh, face this one at a 90 degree angle, but we could, of course, affect everything doing that. If we fire now, it will straighten out by the time it gets there. As long as he stays on that track, we should be okay. But, you know, I've got no confidence after they've seen a torpedo strike the other ship that they will do that. No, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, torpedo tube 2, we can... Closing tube 2. Close to tube, tube 2, because I don't... Those two are two neutral ones, and that one's coming behind us, so... It's fine. That isn't going to be an issue. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to do a fire now. And it should turn. Let's get uh, torpedo in the reserve loaded up. It's not going to be the best of angles, but it's not going to be a terrible of angle. Nice. Right, so we've just blown a hole in the front of that ship. So that should be forcing water in there now. Right, with that done, um, for the moment, that ship's going behind us. We are going to, uh, we're actually going to go this way. And then head that way. Um, we're going to get ahead of them again, re reload the torpedoes, and have another go at uh, these ships over here. They're going to be zigzagging all over the place now, so this is going to be challenging. Obviously, these three ships here are neutral, so we can't really have a go at those. Um, that little one did not have a gun, so we can potentially leave that. We just need to have a look at the other two, uh, two or three large um, red ships and uh, make the assessment there. Good. Right. We're going to move on and uh, set up another ambush, and I'll see you in a little while. Task Force sighted bearing 201. Task Force sighted bearing 206. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've uh, we've done what we said we'd do. We got ahead of them. We've uh, pulled in the external reserve into the uh, reserve for the rear, and uh, we've loaded torpedo tube one in the front, which is all good. Right, so we've got the ships coming up here. Um, now, this one here, I believe, which is the one we're targeting. I think this is the tanker. So we've set up for that tanker. Um, so if we lock onto here, it is a tanker. Yeah, that is good. That is the one we wanted then. So it's a T2 tanker. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, range is some way off at the moment. That is maximum zoom at the moment. So uh, we'll have to do range when he comes a little bit closer. But for now, we can say. About 3,000 meters speed, um, seven knots, which is still about right, and angle of bow is minus one degree. I will do that as he gets a little bit closer. So we're going to wait for a little while. Now this ship here, we could have a shot at, I suppose. This is the little one. This is the little one. Um, So it'll be this little one here. If I click on that, it's this one right here. Uh, we could probably... I'll tell you what, what have we got in... Torpedo tube 3 is the electric one. So we could use the electric one on that. Closing tube five. Although I'm thinking that would be probably useful for the... For the steam. Um, uh, for the tanker. Oh my goodness, sorry. Brain's not working. I haven't had my coffee this morning. It's often my excuse, but I try and get recording done before um, before work so uh, Target marked. T2 
2,000 meters. Speed, 7 knots. What I don't want to do is have a shot at this one and then um, compromise our attack on the, the, the tanker because the tanker is the one we want to go for. Um, actually, while, while I say that, we've had two sinkings. Um, in the meantime, we had a large merchant ship for 7,753 tons. And shortly after, we had another large merchant sh ship for 7,828 tons. So, grand total of 32,367 tons sunk, all of which are merchant. And uh, that's from five ships. Good stuff. Um... Yeah, I don't know. If we time it right, we could fire at that one with a slow torpedo and then um, keep a couple back to fire at this one with uh, medium to fast. And we should be okay. So what do we have? It's steam. Let's go to the two torpedo tube four. Closing tube three. And we'll put slow on there and impact. I'll keep it quite shallow because obviously it's quite a shallow draft ship. Um, set to two meters. Angle of bow is a bit of a challenge because I can't quite. So that's forty two. Well, probably forty three, that's probably about right by now. Um, range. 2,200, 2,160, that's about right. Cool. Uh, so we got this on slow. Yeah. So we'll get this one away, then we'll quickly line up a couple of shots for the, the tanker. Um, and then the other ship is hidden behind this neutral ship, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah. If we miss this, we may actually hit the neutral ship, which would be all unfortunate and a bit awkward. Stand by. That tank is coming a bit slowly. She's good, actually. That probably sets us up quite nicely. Um, I'm half tempted to fire the electric one at this little ship, but... Uh, it does medium speed, whereas I want to send it slow, so it gives me time to set up the attacks on the tanker before they know what's happened. Coming up there now, we've got a couple more uh, spins of the gyrangle, and we should be good to go. Quick yawn. And I'm back in the game. Right. Okay, here we go. Now, we've obviously discussed the plan that we will go back to Dachau after this and rearm and reload and then do our search patterns, which is good. Now, we must be coming pretty close, actually, to um, the tonnage required to complete this zone I don't know what it is it might be a hundred thousand I'm not sure anymore uh, if we are we're already a third there and we only literally got here last week so uh, a couple more patrols like this and boom this should be completed and then we'll have to go and do the final of the uh, allotted tasks uh, which will allow us to uh, then proceed and I, I'm judging from the years worth of requests that uh, Operation Drumbeat will probably be next where we'll uh, sail along the American coastline, causing mayhem and uh, and carnage where we go. Watching her now. Just, I think it's going to be one more rotation. I think it is. Uh, meantime, this one is... 
getting a little bit closer to us than I had originally planned. And that one's following roughly that track, which is okay. And the three G green ones are just doing their thing. Fine. Right. Good and groovy. One more revelation. Revolution? Not revelation. <laughs> it's a revelation. That we're still waiting here. Uh, this is the ship with no deck gun, so we could... If we miss this, then I'm not going to waste another shot on it. We'll um, we'll use the deck gun on it. Uh, oh, that's one of the things we were going to look at, wasn't it? If the uh, neutral ships had any deck guns on there. So we can have a quick autosave. Because neutral ships should not fire. Because they're not being attacked. But they could probably claim self-defense because ships around them were going down. So... Um, I've got every confidence that if we did surface, that a neutral ship with the gun would fire upon us. So, um. Torpedo depth set to one meters. Okay. Gonna fire just before. There. Two, four, fire. Good, right. Two, four. Let's concentrate on this one. This is. Target marked. This is the, uh, the one we want. Good, right. Range. Approximately 1,600 meters. Let's type the damn thing in. Nope. Yep. Keep an eye on the uh, torpedo as she goes. She seems to be going okay at the moment. Um, angle of bow is 19. Perfect. Uh, actually, what what distance is that going to be passing us? That's going to be coming to about there. 500 meters. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So we're going to load torpedo tube one. We're going to go low, medium. Set to five meters. Flood that one. Flooding tube one. Tube two. Closing tube we'll one. go a little bit higher. Flooding tube one. And we'll have that on fast, actually. Set to four right, that one's still coming towards us. Um, oh, I, I timed this terribly. And I think that is actually going to sail in front of that ship. Ah, oh, so we've missed. Yeah, we've missed. Okay. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry, that wasn't really what I wanted to do. That was just a silly shot. Anyway, right. Can I... Stop that. Thank you. Let's lock onto this then. And... Target marked. Get this ready to go. The good thing is that hasn't alerted them by the looks of it. They're still sailing on, uh, on their merry way. Closing tube two. Wird geschlossen. Flooding tube two. Wird bewässert. I'm actually thinking, maybe first Closing shot tube we one. should go magnetic, medium. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Oh, this doesn't unstick it. A meter or so below. Torpedo depth set to eight meters. So only far and slow. I thought we could get medium speed out of this. Rain, 30 knots. What are they? They are 30, 40, and 44 knots. Okay, fine. So that is classed as slow. Um, right, okay. So if we fire three, Closing we'll tube switch tube one to fast. Closing tube one. Flooding tube and that's one. fast as well. Right, let's flood three. And let's load... What do we have? A search pattern. Let's love that, load that into four. We're not going to fire it just yet, because obviously... We'll be using all these torpedoes up pretty soon. Okay, at least that didn't snag a, uh, a neutral. Wait a little bit longer. Uh, 
Okay, stand by. Tube three. Uh, fire. Speed to tube one. Merchant moving fast. Closing. Bearing three, four, four. Medium range. Closing tube three. Let go cross. I don't have to fire one. I don't want to. I should fire it now. I'm firing. I'll hold on, on two. Because I don't think we'll get it with one hit anyway. If we do, that's fine. But two torpedoes to take out a tanker, and I'll, I'll be delighted with that. Oh, there goes the um, emergency flare. Second one was a dud. Okay, so the electric one did its job. Okay, where's this other red one? She's up there. Um, do I reckon I can lock on her? No, now that that has been oh, it's a Liberty cargo. Okay. Um, where is she? She's there. Did that tanker just blow up? No, there she is. Um, so through the mist, we can't see anything. We can't lock on it because of the fog. Uh, because of all the smoke. Damn. Um, I've never seen smoke quite like that. I can't see through it. Hmm, okay. Well, we can't have a snapshot because I'm not actually sure where the ships are anymore because of the smoke, which is interesting. So, um, let's clear this up a little bit. That's a, that's, that's a first. Let's get this cleared up. Um, the ships have gone past us anyway, really. Um, for any effective shots. So, um, I'm going to sail on. But, oh, we'll sail on here. Give them a little bit of time to uh, sink. And we'll um, set ourselves up again. We'll get these ones loaded in. Five torpedoes left. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, got a bit of an issue where all the ships are kind of scattergun at the moment. They're kind of they're going all over the place. One's just come around here and they're not settling down. So we may need to track them for a greater distance than I originally thought. We've reloaded the torpedoes. One, two and four. And we got the two in uh, the rear. Um, that tanker has sunk. Been our sixth kill on this patrol. For 10,000 and 35 tons, a T2 tanker, which is great news. So that's six ships sunk, 42,402 tons sunk and sent to the bottom. Right, um, we are going to continue to pick the bones off this convoy, um, but we're going to have to do that another time because uh, time has run out for this week's patrol log. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been very fruitful. Obviously, we've had one torpedo miss and the others... Um, have all been successful with uh, two kills today. Three kills today, I beg your pardon. Three kills. Two large tankers, uh, two large merchants and a tanker, wasn't it? So that is good day's work. Uh, we're going to come a little bit further away so I can surface the boat, get rid of the um, 
uh, the CO2 level and uh, recirculate the air, get everything sorted. Everything's looking right. Battery's 95%, fuel's 95%, uh, 55%. Everything's looking pretty good at this stage. Crew morale, there isn't any. But <laughs> they're such a miserable bunch. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. So um, what we're going to do is actually come out of uh, battle stations and we're going to um, try and get ahead of them and... Uh, take it a bit leisurely maybe wait till daytime before we have our next attack on this um, convoy I've lost sight of them already oh there they are there they are right so from the crew of u77 thank you ever so much for watching this week I hope you've enjoyed it join us next week where we try and pick the bones of this convoy and uh, then we'll make our way to Dakar and um, get rearmed and refueled and we'll go and do some of those search locations which the BDU have requested so, yes, until next week, take care. I'll see you then.